Alright guys, in this one we're going to walk through how to rex your Telos using Scatter and Blocks.io. Starting off here on Telos.Blocks.io, the homepage. First thing you need to do is log in with your Scatter. I am already logged in up here. If I wasn't, I'd see the login button up here. Click on the login button and select Scatter and then select which Telos account you want to use. Then you will see that Telos account listed up here. This is the account I want to rex my Telos on. So Scatter is now hooked up to Blocks.io and I am ready to rex my Telos. Now before we rex our Telos, we need to make sure we have the requirements met so we do not throw an error when we try to rex our Telos. First one being to vote. There's the vote section here. You need to vote for at least 21 block producers or a proxy. Select 21 block producers, click vote and sign the Scatter transaction or select a proxy. Um, this is what I'm getting for proxies right now, just the loading spinning wheel of death. Hopefully that'll be fixed soon here in the future, but proxies do not appear to be working on Blocks.io at this point. Second thing we need is we need some RAM. We need some extra RAM in order to be able to Rex Artelos. So over in the wallet section, click on it. It gives you a breakdown of your RAM. And I have 500 bytes of RAM, which should be plenty. But if you don't have some extra RAM, if you're up in that near that 100% or just a little bit below it, you might need to buy some more RAM in order to Rex your Telos. You can do that in the wallet section just by coming to the buy sell RAM. And then here you can buy some RAM. I'm not sure the exact number you need, but 500 bytes should be plenty. Let's see how much that is. 0 0.0443 Telos. So, so now we have extra RAM. We've already voted or proxied our vote. Next, we can move on to rexing our tokens. This is done in the rex section. Up here, nice green rex button. Click that and that'll take you to the blocks rex portal. And the two main buttons you're looking for when rexing your tokens, this is sending your TLOS to rex to start earning that interest, is lend liquid TLOS and lend staked TLOS. So this section here allows us to lend our liquid, and this section here allows us to lend our staked. So we'll start off with the lend liquid, and this one's straightforward. Here's the amount of available liquid TLOS you have, can lend, and you input how many you want, or select 25, 50, 75, 100%. I'm going to go ahead and do 50% right now. So I will be rexing 80 of my liquid Telos. Click Lend TLOS to Rex, and your scatter will pop up, and you can see it's doing both things needed for Rex. First, it's depositing the Telos to the Rex account, and then it's buying Rex. If you saw my Rexing Telos using Score Wallet video, that was two separate steps, but Blocks puts it all into one transaction for you, so it's only one scat scatter transaction you need to sign. Let's click Allow. And we're going to go from 12773 to 12853. There we go. Total in Rex. Now those 80 TLOS are in Rex from my liquid balance. So that's how you lend your Telos to Rex from your liquid balance. Now lending from staked. So you click on the lend staked TLOS button right here. And that brings you here. So here you will see your account with how many Telos you have staked to CPU, how many Telos you have staked to net, and you will also see any other account that you are delegating stake to. So right now, this account, the account I'm signed in with, is delegating one Telos to this account for CPU and 0.5 Telos to this account for net. So if I wanted to, I could rex those, but you do want to keep some TLOS staked in CPU in net so you're able to interact with the blockchain. And you can see that here that this is defaulting to only rexing two of the four Telos and 3.8 of the four Telos, leaving some TLOS in this account so I can interact with the blockchain. And what I'm gonna do here is I don't wanna rex any of these from the Promote Telos account. So I'm gonna click the Edit button, put this at zero. I wanna rex zero of the one TLOS, save that, and I wanna rex zero of the 0.5 TLOS in this account. And then here, 
I want to keep a couple in here. I want to keep at least three Telos here, so I'm just going to Rex one of the four from CPU. And I'm going to Rex, I'll just leave one Telos in net stake. So I'm going to Rex three of the four TLOS I have. So now you can see we're lending a total of four staked TLOS to Rex, one from CPU stake, three from net stake. That equals that four, leaving me three TLOS staked in CPU for this account th and one TLOS staked in net for this account. And I'm not withdrawing any of the stake from this account to Rex. So click on Lend Staked TLOS to Rex. Scatter will pop up. And you'll see we'll go from 12.853 to 8.57. 8.57. There we go. Now they are staked in Rex, earning me that interest. So there you go, guys. That's how you Rex your Telos using Scatter and Telos.blocks.io. All the Rex is done in the Rex section. But before you get going, make sure you have voted in the vote section for at least 21 block producers are a proxy. And in the wallet section, make sure you have enough RAM. Those Rex transactions I just did, it's like they did not consume any RAM because I have already Rexed on this account before. But still, just make sure you have some extra RAM in there. An extra 500 bytes from the buy sell RAM, an extra 500 bytes. I mean, for one. For one Telos, you get 11,000 bytes. So you throw 0.1 Telos in the RAM, that's 1,127 bytes. That's more than enough RAM. So I'll leave a link in the description to the tutorial showing you how to Rex with Squirrel Wallet if you are interested in using Squirrel Wallet. And if you have any questions, pop them down in the comments below or head on over to the Telos community telegram. Thanks to the Telos community for their support via the worker proposal system. If you like what we're doing here, vote yes on WP18. But that's going to do it for me for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.